can a lawyer go from winning in the courtroom to winning one of the biggest tournaments on the World Poker Tour? Featuring a seven-figure top prize, Paul Smith began the final table as the chip leader. The part-time amateur is not afraid to push his opponents around. But the rest of this table is young and hungry to make a statement. Featuring a mix of online and live professionals, the lawyer is going to need a few favorable verdicts to hold on and win the WPT title. Mike Sexton and Vince Van Patten call the action from gavel to gavel. A mild scare card for Amon and that there's a possible flush on the board now. Well, yeah, Mikey could have been playing the four flush and just hit there. And he's going to try to pretend like that's what he has because he's putting it all in. There you go. Mikey not fooling around. He has moved all in. Four guys in their 20s, two in their 30s. 1.1 million goes to our winner tonight. Andy's a 5,000. Blinds will start at 30 and 60,000. Cards have been dealt. Let's go down to John, the Razor fan's hand. Ten deuce. He won't play that. Well, we saw him at the final table last week. He's back. Zach Clark. Nephew of the great poker player Chip Reese also folding. Kyle Wilson going out. And Mikey Wynn not going to play. Two of us, Paul. So battle of the blinds here early on. We've done this before, haven't we? A few times. Well, that's around to Ahmet Makizia. This guy is a true online poker legend already in his young career. Won tons of money. 150. There's great respect from everybody in the online world. And here he's betting 150,000. He's also the chip leader with about 3.1 million. Now, Paul Smith is a part-time lawyer. He's got Jack-10. Yeah, 38 years old, the oldest guy at the table. Plays poker part-time and is a lawyer part-time. Yeah, what he, is he thinking here, Mike? He's you know, taking he's, a lot of time. He's thinking Ahmet is the chip leader. Knows he's an aggressive player. Maybe Bowling. he's trying to bully him. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> he's not going to have it, Vince. He goes over the top with a Jack-10. Nice tempo. Unbelievable on the first deal of the tournament to commit all your chips with Jack High. Very aggressive. Paul Smith, wow. part time lawyer, winning his first case here at the Bicycle Casino. I'll tell you, Vince, he slammed the gavel down on that hand. And his wife, Lorene, very happy to see her husband make that play. All right, right back, Adam. Good choice, John. Next hand, Mikey Wind quickly folding. Amit Makisha, the chip leader, also going out. Now back on Paul. This time he looks at an ace three, going to lay it down. Into the razor, John Fan. Okay, he's picked up a real hand, a solid pair of nines. He's on the button, in position, up against the two blinds. We're going to like this hand. Here we go. 160. He's going to raise it, makes it 160,000 to go. Yeah, it's going to put some pressure on the nephew of the great poker player, Chip Reese. This is a very young 23-year-old Zach Clark, and he's got ace-jack offsuit. Well, Vince, it looks like he's getting out some raisin chips. Perhaps he thinks John is just making a button raise, as we say, trying to steal the blinds and annies. <laughs> mm. He's not going to have it. He's coming right over the top of him. Raises it 400,000 more, makes it 560,000 to go. And incredibly, oh in the boy. big blind, Kyle Wilson from Canada, 25-year-old, father of four, looks down at two kings. Just amazing. All right, in the blue shirt is Greg Mueller, WPT finalist, friend of Kyle Wilson's. Also from Canada, of course. Come on. Whoa. Well, Kyle is going all in here. You can't blame him for that. Somebody's got two aces. Good luck to him. Kyle's got about a million in chips. He's moved all in. Action now back on John. Vince, he raised on the button. The small blind raised it to 560,000. The big blind moved all in for a million. Folks, if you know nothing else about John, the Razor fan, other than what a tough poker player he is, understand that he's very deliberate in making decisions at the poker table. One of the slowest players on tour. Well, he does take his time. Now, last week we saw him get some bad beats, and he wore about nine of his bracelets on his arm. Tonight he's going with one. <laughs> Maybe to change his luck. Well, Vince, it's kind of hand against one player you might consider calling for sure, but against two opponents. I need like three more glasses of drink. One of them figures to have this hand beat. Yeah, I think it's a pretty routine drop. John the Razor, very entertaining player at the table. I'm just so happy all the time. I'm winning or losing. I don't know what the heck he really said, but I think he's going to fold. 
you know, action's back on Zach. And he's virtually pot committed in my mind. There's 1.7 million out there. They're going to cost him another 435,000 to make the call. Yeah, he was just pushing because he thought Fan might be stealing, and now he's in a predicament here. Well, the only hand he's mathematically not getting the right price if his opponent has specifically two aces. Hey, call. That's not the case. He's got two kings. Zach does make the call. He's the underdog. Well, he was pot committed, but right now no, he's me. in the thick of it. Took a shot, but he's up it's against it's a it's monster. It's pair of kings. 30%, though. He doesn't pick up a hand. We are seeing some fireworks now here at the Legend of Poker. Kyle Wilson, quite a basketball player. In fact, he was offered a professional basketball contract in Europe. The ace always comes here. Right now, he's driving for a quick layup, Vance, to double up here at this final table. Well, you'd love to do it with this quality hand. Huge pot here. Well over two and a half million dollars in this pot. Here comes the flop. And Ace comes right on the flop. You see the disappointed look in Kyle's face. It says it all. Unbelievable. He's now got to catch a king or two running diamonds to make a flush. Otherwise, Kyle's going to be out of here in sixth place. What a discouraging flop there for the Canadian. Kyle, five on the turn, doesn't help him. Well, we are down to the river card. Zach only has to dodge a king to take this pot down. And he does it as a three of spades comes off. So that's going to do it for the young Canadian, Kyle Wilson. He goes out in sixth place. Yep, he's going to pick up 176,000. He's a good sport. And just like that, we are down to five. Yeah. Tough luck for Kyle Wilson there. Knocked out with the two kings. Vince. Sometimes it pays to be pot committed. Yes, it does. And we have our first dead man walking here in La La Land. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. The newest real money online poker room is here, and it's called WPT Global. Join the world's largest poker network with games running 24-7 with buy-in levels to suit all bankrolls. We've got tons of cash games at all stakes and tournaments every day with huge prize pools. Sign up today in the description below and use bonus code YT85 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. So he picks up a paycheck and here we go again. Paul Smith quickly folding his hand. And now John, the Razor fan, has picked up another pair, pair of jacks. Can't do a lot about that one. Not really. I mean, it was standard for everyone. You're halfway in there already. You can, can oh, fold now. I was making sure because I was on TV. I snapped that off any other time. Nice hand. <laughs> the fish hooks, they're called. We'd like to get a few fish on the line here. Let's see if he can do it. He's going to bet 145000 145, kid. 45. All right. Into Zach Clark, who's got a nothing 10 5. Folds it. Mikey Wynn going out. Now, Amit. Oh, look at this. He's got the mother of all poker hands, pair of aces. John? Picked him up in the big blind, exactly where you like to have him. Hamid Makizia, an online poker legend. At 23 years of age, he has made a huge name for himself. And look at this, Vince. He is just calling, not raising. In my mind, that's a play that only about 2% of the players would make. Shows me they're not afraid to play a flop and play after the flop, and here he checks when it comes King-10 deuce with two clubs. Yes, he does. Now, Johnny Fan may be a little Nervous, he also checks with the king out there. Here comes the turn card, four clubs. Amazing to me, John, check that flop. I smell something fishy here. Amit now with the cinch flush draw and the aces is gonna bet 230,000. Amit in about as good a shape as you can be in. He's got the over pair and a higher flush draw. Here he's bet 230,000. Maybe that check before is gonna seduce John Fan into calling this. I bet you notice John's sipping that champagne a little faster now here. <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> well, he could be bottomed out of here if he's not careful. Look at the rays are very casual. Well, Vince, I think it's tough to lay this hand down the way the hand was played. He's going to make the call. Yes, yes. And that, is, that is a champagne splash right there. Well, he continues to take swallows here, and you can't blame him. Big pot brewing right now between the chip leader and John Fan. He's not going to like it. A six of diamonds on the river, helping neither player. Uh, action back on Ahmed. Let's see how much he's going to bet this time. 500. Going to bet a half a million. I call. Quickly called by John Fan. Pieces. 
So Amon is going to take down a pot of over 1.8 million here to increase his chip lead. Uh, oh boy, he better reload on the champagne. Going to need another glass after that one. It's just, just nothing worse than when you're at a poker table and you're enjoying a beverage, an alcoholic beverage perhaps, and you go broke. Think, oh, it's just not fun. Well, Amit Makija, the chip leader, taking down a nice pot off John Fan there with the two aces. Yeah, the Razor definitely cuts himself shaving there just a bit, and he's taken aback. Stay with us. Five players remain here on the World Poker Tour. Going after a first place prize of over $1.1 million. Uh, current chip leader is 23 year old Amit Makija. He's got over 5 million in chips. Second place, 23 year old Zach Clark with 2.7 million in chips. And another 23 year old Mikey Wynn on the short stack right now. And he looks down and finds a pair of sixes here, Vince. Yep. All right, I'm all in. All in. And well, here goes Mikey. He's going all in. Mikey, get out. Yeah. There you go. Well, I think this is the right play with his hand in this situation. And right behind him, Amit with Ace King. I call. He's made the call. Well, he is going to make the call with Big Slick. Chip leader, big hand. Paul Smith out, John Fan with ace five of diamonds. No, he won't play. Zach also out. What do you got? So they turn him up. We well, we have the race situation. The under pair versus the two over cards for Mikey Wynn to stay alive in this tournament. He's got to have the two sixes stand up. Mikey's mom, Tina, and Aunt Diana in the crowd, rooting him on. Well, we know Mikey's a big local favorite here. Plays poker in L.A. all the time. Got a big rooting section. Can he get lucky and stay alive in this tournament? Just put 2-6 up there. Here's the flop. Everybody on their feet. Flop comes Jack, 10-deuce. So far, so good for Mikey. Right now, he's just got to dodge an ace, king, or a queen. Sorry in advance, Mike. All right, the turn card coming up. Well, the board pairs tens. Now this gives Ahmed a few more outs. A jack would not win the pot for him as well. So Ahmed looking for an ace, a king, a queen, or a jack. Mikey looking for everything else. Mikey's life on the line, coming down to the last card. All he's got to do is dodge a big card. And a six comes off his mate. Six is full of ten. <laughs> So the local favorite, Mikey Wynn, stand alive. Oh, we got one. Oh, we got a six. <laughs> That's one happy camper right there. So Mikey Wynn doubling up there to stay alive, takes the two sixes and makes them stand up, Ben. Let's say Mikey. <laughs> there, I gave you your double up. Now, now, now I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to fake it back though. Let's not. I told myself I'm not going to give you some any more chips. Well, Mikey having quite a time this <laughs> week. This is the first WPT event that he's played in. His first $10,000 buy-in event. He's normally a cash game, no limit hold'em player, but his friends told him he should try this tournament. He's done it, and look at him at the final Back table. This. All right, on to the next hand. I'm at this down. time getting the pair of sixes. Incredibly, that's the hand he just got burnt by. Going to try to get his money back by playing him here. Comes in for 150000 The lawyer, Paul Smith, folding. John Fan also going out. And Zach Clark, tough 23-year-old, the nephew of the late great Chip Reese. He's out. You play a flop now, Mikey. And now Mikey with a, a pretty flop. good king, queen of hearts. Chips. You want me to play a flop? I could go either way, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah, if you can fold, you can play a flop. All right, let's play a flop. Very All congenial right. play here. This, Much this, more. Is, this is the Mikey I, he, I know. The he, one he wants, he wants me to play, play a flop, right? I'll play All a flop. Right, yeah, get the man his wish. Give him his wish. He's so nice. So Mikey with the king, queen of hearts. Amit with the two sixes. He's so generous. A lot of talk between these two guys. Here's our flop. Now flop comes seven, seven deuce. Nice flop for Amit. He's out in front with two pair. Action on Mikey. Let's look at this. Mikey is reaching for chips. Yeah. He is betting 300,000. With absolute zip and pip here. Well, in my mind, this player is not going to fool an experienced pro and top-notch player like Amit. You're never going to put your opponent on an overpair in this situation, Vince, because he would have raised you back before the flop. That didn't happen. You have to think your sixes are good here. If he'd have had three sevens, he would check in hopes that you bet so he could raise you. 
This play, not fool Nomin at all. He makes the call for yes, 300,000. And the four clubs comes off. A mild scare card for Amon and that there's a possible flush on the board now. Well, yeah, Mikey could have been playing the four flush and just hit there. And he's going to try to pretend like that's what he has because he's put it all in. There you go. Mikey not fooling around. He has moved all in. Well, let's see how great Amit really is. Will he decipher all this? He's one of the best in the business. The local Mikey has to sweat this. Can he chase away the online professional Amit? Our chip leader. Hey, call. call. He's made the call. He's, doing it. He's done it. Well, there you go. Amit's made a great call here. Well, folks, now you get a glimpse of why this guy is considered such a great player. Amit makes that call with just two sixes. He is well out front because he has the flush draw. So Mikey can't even win the pot with a king or queen of clubs. He needs the suck out. Otherwise, he'll be our fifth place finisher. Ahmed up on his feet. Mikey going back to the family. Here we go. And a five of clubs comes off. Ahmed has made a flush. And that is going to do it for Mikey Wynn. And Vince, in my mind, that was just lack of experience. He made the wrong move at the wrong time. Well, that is a great call by Ahmed. He extends the chip was. lead. Have to say goodbye to Mikey. But stay tuned. We have four players remaining on the World Poker Tour. And we're coming right back. Quick action Come here. On. Zach and Ahmed out. And Paul Smith with a seven of spades has gone all in. Right behind him, John Fan has picked up a pair of eights. Count that down, please. Well, both these guys have about the same amount of chips. So essentially, if John makes this call, their tournament lives will be yeah. on the line. How much does they have, Ron? Well, John wanting a chip count here. John, a very deliberate player, frustrates a lot of players because he takes so much time on every decision. Yes, he does. This is a big decision. It is, Vince, but tough to lay down two eights in this spot, I think. Well, it's 1.2 million. Call for a clock. Ooh. Well, Paul has called the clock on John Fan. When a guy calls a clock on somebody, that means that opponent has one minute to act on their hand. If they don't act in that minute's time, their hand is automatically folded. You saw tournament director Ron Kramer putting the clock on. Well, Mike, what's interesting, this is an obvious tell. If Paul had aces, kings, or queens, he would never say a clock. You want the guy to have breathing room and to take his time. This shows that he's not that strong, in my opinion. I call. John has picked up on it. He's made the call. Well, I agree, and John agrees with you, too, Vince. He's made the call. You'd just never think a guy would have aces, kings, or queens that would call the clock on you. No, he wouldn't. And so right now, John Fan out in front with the two eights. He's up against an ace seven. As the cards lie, he's about a two to one favorite to win this pot and eliminate Paul Smith from this tournament. And so far, the part time lawyer has just hit himself with a gavel. Nice slow roll, huh? Well, it is not over. No. Certainly, Paul can get lucky and win the pot, but right now, John Fan in great shape to eight double up. Four. Here's the flop. Lose four. Oh, oh my well, it's gosh. got two sevens on the flop. John dumps the drink on the floor as it comes 9 7 7. Paul Smith has made three sevens on the flop. He's hit the slot machine to take the lead. Just a scary flop there for the lawyer. John is going to have to catch an eight or hit two running cards to make it straight. Otherwise, he is going to be crippled. Tough luck for John Fan, at least on the flop. Two more cards to come. Eight. Well, a 10 comes off. Now, that's a good card for John, and he has an opening straight draw now. Uh oh. A six or a jack, a winner for him as well as an eight. Well, the crowd rooting for a jack, a six, or an eight. That's what it's going to take for John Fan to win this pot. Can he get lucky here? Paul Smith has got to sweat this last card. What will it be? The six! Wow! John, the Ranger fan, has finally got some luck at a final table. He's back door to straight. He is going to win this pot. Paul Smith is going to be our fourth place finisher. Paul Smith is going to pick up 246,000 and probably an ulcer. He'd like to shake hands with the Ranger, but the Ranger fan away from the table. John is notorious. I knew that he had a fairly easy decision. But because of the way he acts at the table, and even if he makes up his mind, he'll still sit there for five or ten minutes. 
So I've never called the clock in the history of my, uh, my poker playing, and that's the first time, and it definitely I feel it was appropriate time to call the clock. But everybody else at the table is fantastic, and I really enjoyed playing with them. And they're all great players. The newest Real Money Online Poker Room is here, and it's called WPT Global. Join the world's largest poker network with games running 24-7 with buy-in levels to suit all bankrolls. We've got tons of cash games at all stakes and tournaments every day with huge prize pools. Sign up today in the description below and use bonus code YT85 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Right now, Ahmed Makija, he is out in front with 5.7 million in chips. Back to the money pit we go. Ahmed now looking down the four deuce. Holds his hand. It's over to John Fan. He's in the small blind. He's got two deuces. The two ducks, as we say. Mm -hmm. See how he's going to play him. He's going to raise the pot here. Makes it 185,000 to go. Yes, he does into Zach Clark. Zach, 23 years old. Looks down at Ace King. Very uh, strong hand. Monster hand in the big blind. Zach, a very cool customer. He's like his uncle Chip Reese. And then he always stays calm, cool, and collected. Right now, John the Razor going to the water. Was drinking champagne earlier, but now he's sucking down that glass pretty fast. Well, Vince, he switched to water here because he's got two ducks. <laughs> he's got to take the ducks to water if he wants to win this pot. Let's see if he wants to call this raise of 190,000. You have a small pair. You always like to see a flop in hopes that you flop a set. Unfortunately for John, we saw Ahmet fold a deuce. He had a four deuce offsuit, but obviously the Razor doesn't know that. Well, in the audience there is Marco Johnson. They call him Crazy Marco, good friend of Zach Clark's. Zach known as Crazy Zachary online. Now, Vince, these kids are all called crazy, but they don't look crazy to me. Well, John is going to make the call. Wants to see a flop here. See if he can get lucky and take this 23-year-old out of here. All right, nice pot brewing. Here comes our flop. Oh, he does, uh -oh. Vince. He's hit the case deuce. He's got three deuces. It's come jack, three deuce. And he has checked it. He has dug the hole, putting the twigs over it, waiting for the sucker to fall in. Let's see if it'll be Zach. Well, Vance, this is the kind of flop that if you raise before the flop and your opponent checks, you're going to make a continuation bet here nearly every time and just hope your opponent didn't have a jack. Well, Zach's going to make the continuation bet anyway. Now look at John Fan acting very nonchalant, like he's counting his chips, stacking his chips, like he does not care. He is absolutely so excited, hitting three of a kind. Well, you're right, Vince. That is a tell, as we say in the industry. And look at him. Now he sits mm. back, like, what do I do now? Well, yeah, this is uh, summer stock time, I might add. Well, in the poker world, generally speaking, when a guy acts like he's weak, he's generally strong, and that is certainly the case right here. He makes the call. And now an ace comes off. And what a bad card here for Zach. He hits his pair of aces. Well, John Fan quickly checks again. It is the ace of clubs putting three clubs out there, but this is a card that could possibly get Zach in trouble. But he checks his two aces. What a great check by this kid. Nine of hearts comes off. Well, again, John Fan in the summer stock mode. Mm -hmm. But does anybody see through this like we do? Because he's coming out with a big bet. I call. John. And he gets the call. Well, Zach does call with the two aces. Half a million. At three deuces. Well, John knows he's won this pot with three deuces. So the ducks are quacking, as we say. John Fan taking down a nice pot there off of Zach Clark. Zach Clark. Got to be feeling dizzy after that play. Right now, John Fan coming back pretty strong. He's in second chip position. We're coming back with more on the World Poker Tour. Three players remain going after that $1 million first place prize. I've got to tell you, man, so far we've seen some terrific poker at this final table by these guys. 
It's no fluke. They're sitting here playing for the one point one million dollar first place prize. These guys have all got game. Two guys in their 20s up against the Razor John Fan. Action goes to John Fan. This time looks down at an eight six of hearts. Caps his cards. Well, John is the hottest player on the tournament circuit. He's made three WPT final tables out of his last six events. Won two World Series of Poker bracelets in the meantime. So he is dabbing it. Well, he's on the button in position. Count one of those hands you want to see a flop with. He's going to put chips out there for a raise. Yep, he's going to bet 235,000. Well, Zach Clark looks down at the two ducks. Everybody that's had those so far has been successful at this final table, that's for sure. Let's see what he's going to do with them. But some players don't mind raising with two deuces, but they hate to call raiser with a small pair. Zach must be one of those because he lays them down. Yes, he does. And now Amit with a king nine of clubs. Amit anxious to see a flop with the king nine of clubs. So once again, Amit and John Fan tangling with each other. Uh, sure, I counted out 135. So here we go. Flop comes king, ten deuce, ominous flop, top pair. Zach would have hit three of a kind with his deuces. In the meantime, ominous checked. And John is making a continuation bet here with just an eight high. He bets 200,000. And Ahmed makes the call. So the pot swelling up here. Five of hearts on the turn. Action on Ahmed. Still has the kings. Well, he's checked it, but John Fan now has a flush draw. So the question is, now that he's got something to draw to, do you want to fire another shell? It's always a better feeling when that happens, Mike. Well. He's stealing a pot and all of a sudden something might materialize. Well, gets a little easier. Well, now he's got what we call a semi bluff type of hand. Well, you've got a hand you can catch something where you could win the pot. But you're happy if you bet where no one calls you either since you've just got eight high. So he could take a free card or he could make the semi bluff bet. And that's what he's choosing to do. Vince. he is betting three hundred and forty five thousand. Yes, he is. But again, not a real big bet into a pot. It's got 965,000 in it. John likes to make a lot of these post oak bluffs, as we say, small mm -hmm. bets into big pots. Call. Well, Ahmed calling again with the two kings. A little over a million and a half dollars in the pot right now. Two chip leaders colliding here. Well, the four spade comes off. Ahmed has the best hand with two kings, and again he checks. Yeah, nothing hitting for John Fan. Can he do it four times in a row? Keep plugging away. And possibly earn this pot. Well, Vince, you can't blame him for raising on the button. He tried to bluff on the flop. That didn't work. He bluffed on the turn. That didn't work. Will he fire another shell on the river here? That's the question. It just depends how much if he's going to win this, too. Well, Vince, as you know, a lot of guys will bluff at a pot. Some will fire two shells, but not many fire three. John Fan is doing that. Gotta love this guy. At least he's trying. God, that's so sick. You got a big hand, kid? How does a 23-year-old call a guy in his 30s kid? All right, I call. Well, Vince, oh. he's made the call, and he's going to win this pot with two kings. Hands good. You got it. You got it. You're not going to show me? Yeah. And got 10 on there. That was a crushing blow there for John, the Razor fan. And I'll tell you what you got to love about Ahmet. He's not afraid to let the other guy continue to bet, Vance. He's not worried about getting outdrawn. He thinks he's got the best hand. He's not afraid of making the call. This guy has a tremendous feel for the game. Ahmet, our chip leader right now. What drama and excitement so far in the Legends of Poker. Three guys left fighting it out for 1.1 million and going after that coveted WPT Tiffany's championship bracelet. Well, Mike, a legendary tournament unfolding before our very eyes. We're coming back for the conclusion. Stay with us for the next time on the World Poker Tour.